Hey, happy Friday. Welcome to the three things I learned. SAS, sports, tech, and live events. Happy NFL kickoff. Go Birds. So we're going to start with quiet quitting. This is not a new thing. It's just a good marketing slogan for the do just enoughers. You know, back when I was in sales at the LA Kings, we used to have people who were on the way out the door and they would switch to inbound only mode. That was the marketing slogan we had for the quiet quitters at the time. Now look, we're not suggesting anybody burn the candle at both ends. We've seen where that road ends and it's not a good thing. We've talked about that here before. But it's incredibly important at your startup to make sure that you have processes, policies, procedures, and reporting that's gonna enable you to find the quiet quitters and flush them out quickly. Now remember, we've talked about in the past that you work for your staff, not vice versa. Do you wanna work with somebody you can't count on when things break, when competition shows up, or when an important time happens? Probably not. There's plenty of room in the workforce for quiet quitters, just not at your startup, unless you wanna fail loudly. That's number one. Number two, Serena Williams' run in the US Open highlighted a trend that's come to a head over the last few years. Ticket prices for Serena's run and the possibility of her playing later in the rounds were stratospheric. And that's a norm now. Customers and especially companies and sponsors are willing to pay way up for the top, top events. But what's happened is it's created a haves and a have nots. And too many of the have nots have created way too much of VIP hospitality and access and they can't sell it. And they're out looking for anybody in the industry to help them with it. So much for that 4.7 number we heard about saved up savings and pent up demand during the pandemic. That industry didn't see it. That's number two. And number three, give me all of the problems, give me all of the pressure. That's where I'd like to succeed. That's from Pete Carroll's opening media day when he took the job at USC as the fifth choice. He knew he was the fifth choice and he knew he had to walk into a very difficult situation. Now what we've seen in our careers and what we've seen with a number of businesses out there during the investment, in the investment world, those who are willing to take on the pressure, those who are willing to see that as a privilege, and those who are willing to take all of the problems are the ones who are getting rewarded at a much higher level than the rest of their peers. That's it for this week on The Three Things. We'll see everybody next week. Enjoy NFL kickoff.